Hi, and welcome back to this introductory series on Commotion. In this video, we will briefly present the Commotion repository and some of its most essential features. The Commotion repository serves as a platform for the publication and exchange of research data with the global scientific community in accordance with the FAIR data principles. The acronym FAIR stands for Findable, Accessible, Interoperable, and Reusable. The Commotion repository is an open source software. The repository homepage shows, among other things, recently published samples and reactions, as well as the number of samples, reactions, and analytical datasets published so far. The repository distinguishes between three different categories within the publications reactions, samples, and scheme-only reactions. Therefore, not only can you publish complete reactions, but also specific isolated compounds in combination with relevant analytical data. When clicking on a specific reaction, an overview will appear that contains the data published with respect to this reaction. Please note that not all research data which has been uploaded in the repository will be published automatically. The researcher who has uploaded and published the data can determine which individuals have access to the data and which specific part of the data is made publicly available. The Commotion repository attributes DOIs to all published datasets. DOI stands for Digital Object Identifier. These allow for an unequivocal assignment of each dataset to the publishing researcher while simultaneously making the published dataset citable. Besides experimental procedures, you can also share and exchange analytical data. The inclusion of analytical data distinguishes the entries in the category Reactions from those in the category Scheme-only reactions. This means, for scheme-only reactions, no analytical data is published. The blue symbol here is referred to as x vial symbol. It indicates that the substance is registered in the Molecule Archive, a service facility for the registration and storage of chemical compounds. Hence, it is possible to obtain a small sample of the registered substance for academic research purposes. After registration and signing into the repository, more options become available in the top bar. In My Database, you can find all personal data files which you have added to the repository. Any of these data files that you intend to publish, meaning they will be made publicly available, will first be reviewed by members of the Commotion Repository Group. This review will primarily focus on checking the comprehensiveness of the datasets, as well as verifying formalities. Such data can be found in the directory Review. Before the official publication, you can select whether the complete data set or just parts of it will be published. Furthermore, you can also specify which persons are able to access the data. If the access to the published data sets is limited, such publications will fall under the category Embargoed Publications. You can manage these in the corresponding directory. Signing in will also make more options available in the categories Reactions, and samples. Firstly, you gain access to analytical data such as NMR, IR, and MS measurement results. Secondly, you can now comment on content published by others. 
Thirdly, you are able to link reactions and samples to your own personal database. Finally, you must register and sign into the repository to be able to personally submit and publish research data to the Commotion repository.